Okay, so I've been getting some questions about what Second Life is, and I thought I'd try to make a little short video to generally give an idea, and I'm not going to put in a lot of details, because that would take forever, kind of, but hopefully people will get a little bit of an understanding of what they can expect if they ever play this game. So, this is my avatar right here, and this is what I look like right now, and as you can see in Second Life, you can use voice with other people, and people often complain it's not perfect, but it works rather well. As you can see, this is what I look like, and my avatar is pretty much going to keep moving as long as I keep talking, so you're going to have to just pay attention and ignore that a little bit. That doesn't, I look like this right now, but sometimes I, I can look like basically anything that I want to look like. I have a whole folder. This is not the folder. Body parts. I have a whole folder full of avatars and things that I can use to make my avatar look very different. I can even make it a male or female or both or in between. And this is my friend who has agreed to help me show off some of the different things in Second Life. So, meet my friend. Hello. <laughs> um, this is his avatar. He's a rabbit, as you can see, actually a jackalope. And I have I have a rabbit. I have a few rabbit avatars in my inventory, but. Give me a moment. Rather easy to change avatars. All you have to do is right click and you can make an outfit out of anything that you're wearing and the next time that you want to change into it and next time that you want to change into that outfit or that avatar you just right click on it in your inventory and put on the whole outfit. Of course with me I have a little bit of a obsessive control thing with my inventory. As you can see I have like a bazillion folders because everything is uber organized so I don't use that and it takes me like half an hour to change into a different avatar that's why I'm asking my friend here species to help me with <laughs> to displaying different avatars and oh yeah and also you can wear different hairs and everything you don't it's not like one whole avatar you can put together different pieces from different avatars or make your own thing you can even modify and edit nani nani what are you doing oh you're changing into something right now okay it's not as easy for you eh <laughs> it looks funny for a second when I eyeball you. <laughs> this is a professional video. Leave it to pro the professionals. But as you can see, he has put himself on a pose stand for his convenience. <laughs> I never use them myself. But he's changing into what looks like a fox avatar. And I think you said that you didn't have currently any avatars that weren't animals like this, right? This is what's called a, f a uh, anthropomorphic, or in other words, furry avatar. I have a few of those. I have an ant. I can be an ant. You can be anything, basically. You can be a box. You can wear a chair and be a chair. You don't have to look perfect. How many avatars do you have? Uh, for the most part, I'd say below ten. Oh, that's actually quite a lot. I thought you were only going to have, like, three. Oh, no, I have a few avatars, but I only wear the <laughs> jackalope or one other every so often. Oh, okay. This is the oldest avatar I have that I bought. As you can tell, the co hair color isn't exactly... yeah. Can you, what other avatars, like, what's the most different one that you have that you can put on? Uh, 
Let me find it. Where? Basically, if you right click or you, you can left click too, there's a little icon if you see on the mouse. There is a chair picture, and you click, and it sits you on this pose stand, which poses you for easy editing. Many people find this useful. It doesn't do anything for me, so I never use them. But it's basically, you sit on any furniture or anything by doing that, like that couch behind him. Let's see if I can just sit. I can sit on it and it gives me choices up here on the screen. Chill. Chill. How many times can we chill? I can chill this way. Oh look, I can chill on air. I apologize, that thing has not been adjusted yet. <laughs> it's okay. There's an eyeball. <laughs> You're just an eyeball. I can't find the head. Oh god, the tail. <laughs> it's, it's not comp Oh, there it goes, it's rising. Sometimes things take a second to res in. The joys of server lag. I actually like that cow. Turn around. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Is that new? Nope, it's Derp. Oh, Derp is a company that created... Okay, so basically, avatars, when you first drive in the game, you won't have any animations or poses or anything like that. And your avatar will pretty much just stand in place like this and do nothing. Now, in order to make them move, you're going to need an AO, which stands for Automatic Override, and to dance and do other things, you will need dances and poses and things. Now, I can show off the dances first. Basically, you have um, like a file that goes into your inventory, and you can add that file to other things such as Chimeras, or uh, it's pronounced Chimeras, isn't it? I always say chimeras because I like that better than just chimeras. I know. I'm not trying to be dumb. <laughs> and uh, the great thing about Firestorm is you can add them to your actual viewer. And Second Life has different viewers. There's the official one and then there's ones that people have made. And my favorite is always Firestorm and it's always going to be one that I recommend to other people. And you can put them in your viewer and it will actually play them for you, so you don't have to add something extra to your avatar. So, I'm just going to start up my, my AO, and when I stop talking, you will see animations happen. And it gives your avatar a little bit more life and re realism. And I'm just going through them really fast. They Actually, you can set right here you can set a timer about how fast you want it to go through each animation or how fast you, how much you want it to linger on one animation so that's that and you ha you can purchase a full set or you can purchase individual ones and I just got an IM from a group I'll just close that Close it. Okay. Now dances you can put in your AO as well, which I did, and they're in a different category up here.
but I'm just going to show you a couple of them, and people who don't use Firestorm might have to add them to a a talk chimera. But that's what I did before. But um, I'm going to show you some individual dances. Basically, it just makes your avatar do all kinds of dances. Species, <laughs> you're not dancing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look silly. It's called Can You Dance? <laughs> Kawaii! Now, you can have all kinds. There's like. People make dances by actual, like, real body movements. I'm not exactly sure, but you have software that maps your body movements, so these are like real dances. And. Motion capture. Oh, yeah, here's the same dance. Now, it's a lot better if we have music, which brings me to, yes, you can have music. Okay, I won't play the music, I'll just talk about it. That's a better idea. So, the dances actually look better with the music, and as you can see up here, you can actually play music. Um, each region or each place you go in Second Life has their own station. They can change stations to real life stations and everything, and then you actually have DJs. You can come into Second Life and DJ. <laughs> and people actually can make a living out of doing that. Salsa. <laughs> That's a good dance. Okay. I'm done dancing. Now. Also, as you saw with the pose stand in the last video, you also have these furnitures. You have furnitures all over. You can click on them and sit on them like I did before. You can actually sit on furniture that doesn't have pose stands. Not all furniture, but most furniture. I want to sit on something. I'll sit over here. You can also sit on the edge of the parts of yeah. buildings. Yep, as you can see, and I have animations in my AO that give me default sitting animations, that's why I'm sitting so pretty, but without it, it just looks like this. It's kind of ugly and boring, and that's why people have AOs, and you can always tell a newbie by how their av avatar is moving. So the first, one of the first things I always suggest for a newbie to do is get themselves a nail because it doesn't matter how ugly or bad your avatar looks it'll look 10 times better with a good AO and there are freebies especially at like uh, a store called Bear Rose where they give away freebies 